Greetings and welcome to this After Effects and uh, Trap Code Tao session. Uh, today we're gonna try to uh, create something like that. And I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try to uh, record it as I go along. So I'm on, I don't know yet what I'm going to do, but I'm going to uh, go ahead and start the process explaining uh, what I do at each step. Uh, so uh, there is no true science in there. Let me just uh, try to make something cool. And uh, even if I screw up, it doesn't matter. I will just put that and uh, there is sure to be some l good learning purposes in there. So let me start. I'm gonna create a new composition. I'm gonna call it Trap Code Tao. And I'm gonna apply Tao to that. And uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. So uh, perhaps I, at some point, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop talking while I figure out something, but uh, Let's try this. So uh, let's make this comp size. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make it square because we're doing something circular. We don't need it to, to be a, a 16 by 9. So let's put tau there. I'm not gonna use the path generator, and uh, I'm gonna create a light. Control Shift Alt L. Create a spotlight, and uh, this time I'm gonna keep the cone angle. I just want to see where it aims at. Um, and of course, I will call that Tau. Um, I want to pick up the size from the radius, and I'm going to create a Control Shift Alt Y new null, set it 3D, as I always do. Take the position from there and paste it over here to make sure that we're right at the center. And uh, this is this will be our tau rotator one. Uh, this will be our tau rotator two, and this will be our tau main control. I like to create um, at least three nulls to to uh, connect my light to. Anyway, that's my thing. So let's. Uh, we want to have a circle, we want to have it rotate around and ooh, and uh, so what's we're gonna do? What are we gonna, uh, we're gonna offset that at, I don't know, like uh, 55 pixels. And uh, this is going to rotate on Y. Let's make that over the course of uh, four seconds. So 120 frames and let's have 20 rotations refresh that nothing happening uh, let's go right ahead and set something up duration of no keyframes let's say four seconds since that's the that's the data the duration we're gonna use uh, for our stuff um, oh yeah let's get on the frame uh, zero and let's connect the light to our rotator and let's connect that to that and let's connect that so now we have something that's interacting with it okay uh, now this this thing let's move it towards the minus 330 that will be our uh, diameter the circumference of our circle here which we're gonna make rotating uh, not Y but Z let's go to frame 120 and let's rotate it one time cool so that's first uh, thing not yet how we want it um, let's go in our segments let's increase the amount of sides uh, let's increase the segments and uh, let's make it much smaller that and uh, are we in, in the right direction so let's make it a little bit bigger well we just I just want to get a smooth corner here so you see right there it's kind of messed up let's create a camera let's make it 50 millimeters so we can move around so we uh, there is uh, some weird uh, it's not really as I want it 
hard to explain but the way I want it this is the point where I try a few things because I have uh, somewhat a comp basic but more complex than just a light architecture I have to find out on each which is the correct angle that I want so let's try to not orient it to the planet so it's gonna be this thin thing it's not what I want maybe it looks cool but uh, let's make a tube like normal tube let's rotate that 90 degrees let's rotate that 90 degrees that seems a little bit more like it as we look around everything is more uh, it looks like a, a telephone cord but uh, that's the way I want it because then if we increase the the, uh, the sides as you can see it's like a phone cord it's it's a circle uh, circular so we're not oriented to uh, the path to get this result perhaps we're going to change that sometimes I mess around a lot with that before I get to exactly what I want so if I want something like that we have to get uh, this a little bit smaller and uh, I think it's the other way around so let's try something else let's try to have much more rotation so now it's going once and it's curving let's try to make it uh, revolve 12 times so we're gonna have that uh, <laughs> and uh, let's not rotate it at all for the moment so now it's moving uh, uh, okay let's go back to uh, Ten and uh, okay. Okay, let's have no rotation on this for the moment, as it's getting me confused. Oh, we lost everything. Did we? get at least one rotation there and uh, nope Houston we've got a problem so let's have it rotate once and let's have it start at zero okay and let's have no rotation at all for that so let's um, have some wiggling in, uh, yeah, let's add a little bit of wiggle on our main tower control, not that much, maybe let's start with 2 and uh, 120, let's see what where that brings us. And uh, it's not necessarily how I want this to go. So let's try to put more segments in there. No. And let's try back the orient to path. We set that back to zero. Ah, so that's more like it now. See? These are uh, susceptible to change once we go further. So now um, we want less wiggle. All right, so we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Slowly but surely. Who's surely? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, all right, so we're having 12 rotations, and now since we are wiggling our main position, it gets um, it gets uh, displaced, and uh, as we ha have our other, uh, as it continues to revolve, uh, we'll we'll feel like we have uh, several little uh, branches there. Okay, so we're getting right where we want to, but we have a problem. 
uh, and let's increase that to uh, exaggerate it so we can pinpoint it so as it closed it's not going to be uh, closing perfectly if we want to do that let's create expression sliders on there so to control our wriggle so we can shut it off at the beginning and uh, at the end of our path simply for that so let's call this uh, path frec for the frequency and then let's make this path amp for the amplitude so we are doing two times for an amplitude of 60 so let's connect that to that with the pick width like that and let's pick up the 60 and the SR there there we go and now uh, we simply need to start this at zero and uh, go to frame 120 and uh, maybe we're gonna we're gonna copy that we're gonna paste it here we're gonna move it like that and we're gonna right click and time reverse keyframes so this is the exact opposite of that and as we refresh it will uh, <coughs> fix our closing problem. So we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Is there something else that we uh, are perhaps ought to do now? Uh, make it a little bit smaller or have some variation in the size as well over time. So let's duplicate our wiggle controls here and let's call that size frequency and uh, size amplitude and let's connect that to that so they will us we don't need yeah we, we will still need to have a let's delete that for the moment and we want to uh, have that to let's try that so we're gonna connect our radius we're gonna alt click and we're gonna say wiggle um, oh wait a second let's let's lock this in front place so uh, the tau in the radius we're gonna wiggle uh, two an amplitude of 2 and uh, let's have more variations and let's have it more frequently so now we can try things out let's exaggerate it so we can see what's uh, the best let's really exaggerate it so let's make this 300 ooh that's nice um, and frequency 2 so we definitely want something like that in terms of frequency and uh, for the size we want it to uh, be smaller and then overall we're going to make it smaller inside our options here let's go back to the size let's say six all right so that's more like it next uh, what we want to do perhaps is have more we go to that let's save that and uh, let's make um, a wiggle on the position of our light itself so let's once again we can duplicate our uh, our wiggle uh, controls and let's say that will be for uh, uh, the position so position frequency and uh, 
definition empty too. So our light, let's say we want a wiggle, wiggle. And this is, has to be very small. So let's just set it up at first and we'll put the number afterwards. Uh, so that's interesting, but we want to have a really small wiggle with a very high frequency to make it look more like branches. Yeah, to make it more uh, uh, like uh, actual branches. And uh, we might have to shut on and off our, uh, the same as we did for that, we're gonna do the same, but now we have the values. So 71, let's try more. And we might have to add more, uh, uh, we might have to, had to add more segments to that. And we can also wiggle the wiggle and that will uh, alternate like a, now the variation is quite uh, the same, but uh, we can wiggle the frequency of this wiggle. And uh, I mean, there is a lot of possibilities. So let's first thing, let's shut this off at the beginning and at the end so we can have our closed loop as we want it. So let's uh, time reverse that. And uh, Let's do the same for our position. Let's make sure it starts at zero. Copy that, get over here, paste it, and not forget to time reverse that. All right, so let's hit refresh, and then let's see what we have. All right, pretty cool for the moment. Um, let's get to the repeater. And uh, yeah, let's wiggle our wig uh, our wiggler. So uh, <laughs> let's add a last one here. So we're gonna call it wig freck. is 131 and we're going to change that twice per second uh, yeah we're gonna make the amplitude vary by 56 and uh, let's make sure that we have also the same number So our wig freck, this guy, we're going to say wiggle. And there. Let's try that. Doesn't change anything. Oh, I'm not on the that's not what I ought to do. So uh, this is the position freq on which we want to do that. Is it? Yeah, the position frequency. Let's add a wiggle to that. Is it going to change anything? Oh. It's going to be the amplitude, not the frequency. But it's not going to be that, so it's going to be. Uh, this is really too much. We have to put a smaller amount here. So, yeah, our variations will be a little bit uh, more random. So, let's decrease this amount. Uh, let's decrease 
this one as well. Oh. Oh, I'm quite confused now. We have keyframes on all. Ah, I'm lost. Um. Right. So now I'm quite confused. Let's shut this off. So the frequency, yeah. So the position frag doesn't need keyframes. Only the amplitudes will need the keyframes, right? Let's keep it that way, shall we? And um, let's make sure it's not that way. Too much variation. So it's going, the frequency is going to be, let's change it to that, let's, uh, let's get that way down. And it's still quite, let's set that to 10. Set that to 0.5. Ah, all right. So we're getting more where we want to. And now let's increase that back. So, yeah, we're more on the on the course that we need. So that's this has to be rather small because it's gonna wiggle this with an amplitude of 12. So we can increase that as well. And then. Um, we just want to get variations on how it's uh, going. So that might be kind of fair. All right, let's stop with that. And uh, let's make it a little bit smaller. And let's get in the repeater. So I'm going to go oh, repeat path. And uh, let's close that down we don't need it anymore let's bring this over here so um, let's repeat it let's open up our first repeater and uh, let's first shut this down and uh, let's go with one and a quarter res uh, no I wanted to keep it full but uh, I'm gonna reduce the amount of segments for the time being and also uh, the amount of sides just for the time being while we work and uh, at the end we're gonna set it back so let's uh, increase the amount of repetitions let's start with one and uh, let's not offset it on the x but let's rotate it on the z for a few degrees like 10 degrees and let's repeat more Let's make uh, 12 repetition. And uh, now we're getting somewhere. Now we can potentially add more uh, wiggle to all that. But uh, let's find our right numbers there. And we can try some other, like the position X, not the position X, but the position Z. So they can be offset uh, around like so. Yeah, so let's not put too much in the position Z. Let's put that and world position random can 
also mess it a little bit around with that. So that's a little bit too much on the Z end. Let's put only a uh, four and let's see. And that's more like it. Um, if we want to color them using the uh, repeater color layer function, I'll show you how it's pretty easy. Let's just hit command Y and let's this comp can be uh, fairly small. Doesn't matter its size. Let's make it square. Let's call this color map. And uh, now let's hit command shift C to make that into a composition and let's leave all the attributes over there. Double click here to get inside and we're going to add a ramp. Um, and I'll try to doing this quick. We're going to add a, a color ramp effect on there. And uh, let's see, um, let's try uh, something maybe uh, it's going to be brownish. And let's rotate it because uh, we need vertical. Uh, it's going to pick up the color from each bands there and uh, randomly apply it to our uh, repetition repetitions. So let's choose a color that's close to what we want. Maybe that can be something, but let's uh, desaturate it. And uh, let's uh, perhaps play around with the levels. Uh, no, not auto levels, but the normal levels. And uh, that seems like something good. Let's hide that. Let's get back to our tau. And uh, let's choose our color map here. So here we go. We have something uh, that's a little bit more branchy. And uh, we can always go in there. And uh, if we notice uh, some colors to be too. Uh, too bright, we can just individually go uh, make them less bright and less saturated in here. So let's refresh. Oh, now we don't see them. So let's, uh, at this point, we can perhaps start to add some light in there. So usually what I do, I first add an ambient light. So let's make this ambient. And uh, let's put uh, a little bit of color in there, but not too much. And uh, sometimes it will do like that. But uh, just hit the page down or page up. And um, let's create a point light. So I'm going to move and try to have a, a little bit of specular uh, appearing in my uh, in my room. So I don't see my light. Uh, where is it? All right, over there. So I'm pulling it back towards us. Maybe made it make another one, and uh, let's grab this one, and this one. Let's move it back. And uh, let's make it perhaps a bit brighter. So we have some general uh, light direction here. And then we can go uh, back to the Tao in uh, the material and lighting and uh, increase the ambient light. And then mess around with the diffuse settings or uh, have a smooth light fall off. Sometimes it helps you get more uh, shadow details in there. At 
this point I can tell that uh, perhaps we can get more variations in there so um, let's get to our tau main control and our path amplitude we can uh, make sure that we're on the right keyframes here and let's get a 60 let's make it 103 let's start oh cool so I want to get a bigger maybe that's a little bit too big and uh, well it's not exactly the same but we're getting close to that this idea perhaps we can also add some some kind of a wood texture to it to make it a little bit more details. Let's uh, try that. Let's make this one. Uh, uh, we'll try 1,000 by 1,000, and uh, let's call it text. And let's make that a composition. Leave all attributes. Let's get inside, and I'll add a fractal noise on there. I'm not gonna make it very detailed, I'm just basically gonna make it, and I'm not gonna make it tile neither. Just gonna try that, and uh, well, perhaps we can add some turbulent displays on that. Change the random seed get some uh, some kind of a wood pattern I don't know probably got not gonna work let's let's try it let's get in our textures and let's add this so makes it a little bit darker so we can uh, uh, bright brightening it up let's 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 lock this let's make a new comp Let's bring that over here so we can have a look at it and let's uh, lock this in place for the moment go back so we're gonna play around with this and refresh so we just want to see some detail here and make sure that uh, we have it on the right direction so let's increase the contrast make sure that we can see the details and uh, let's have it the other side perhaps it's that let's refresh and uh, probably probably not probably not make that much smaller and let's see what we get out of that hmm. it's kind of hard to see eh? should we make our tau stuff just a little bit bigger while we mess around with our texture so let's shut down the chamfer let's temporarily make that bigger and uh, how, how is it actually looking on there? It's a little small. And sometimes uh, I just do a bit of a hard time setting up the texture. It might be not repeating as I want to, so. just so we can say that there is some detail in there and uh, yeah maybe more but uh, this kind of texture is close to what we want but we just want to have it subtly there and not uh, really in your face just as if it were 
is uh, not okay. Plain color, totally plain color. Uh, so that's maybe not a good idea. And uh, let's uh, try a living room. And uh, yeah, let's say we have some wood there. Oh, we can scale the texture according to. Uh, I mean, oh, there are other options as well. So we'll just play around with this and figure out what's the best. And that might not be the best example uh, to set that kind of thing up. Is there something else that we can do? Of course, I think uh, our lighting would need a little bit more presence. So once again, it I want to have a light that is quite uh, general. that and uh, so we have a general light direction and we can see uh, some specular there now let's get our uh, let's try to mess around with those and see what we get out of that so that doesn't seem to change much. Then remove segment size. <laughs> oh. And now I'm just messing around, not really doing, uh, knowing what I'm doing. And I think that is causing us some issue uh, just moving it around there's a a position uh, why I mean I don't know it seems also a little bit uh, plasticky so uh, we might turn down the specular bit more shadows in there depending on the kind of uh, and of course we can always add curves on top of that Saturated, and perhaps it's more like like it. I don't know. Not really an expert. So, um, what else can we do here? That could be fun. Yeah, sometimes I just figure I can get into the uh, offset here, in the. Uh, activate this and that can be fun and we can um, just add a wiggle on the OS size let's try that wiggle let's try 10 10 just to see and decrease that much more it adds a little bit more randomness in there and it will kind of animate with the uh, offset let's shut that off so um, let's 
add a thousand. Uh, so that would be another way to, uh, on top of uh, our wiggle for the size, to uh, add another wiggling for the stat, the whole static thing to add a bit more variation on the size. But you can also animate that, like if you want to have something following there. Uh, I would do that. It's simply hit the stopwatch on the size, get a few keyframes for it, and make another keyframe here, and then increase that just on one section. And this is hard to get into and explain right, but uh, the uh, offset animation sequence uh, has a duration of 10 seconds. So on the four seconds that we have our path created, it will. Uh, use the time data of 10 seconds for the keyframe that we're doing here uh, and uh, when we offset our thing like if we go from 0 to 100 and uh, activate the loop offset we can create some loops there so as uh, I was doing uh, This will make a nice uh, section of our path get uh, bigger. So the the smaller we make it, this, uh, the less of the whole thing we get at once. So it will spin around like that. And like if we want to make it uh, perhaps even shorter, we can increase that to 20. So yeah, we, we can see many of them because we're repeating it. just an idea let's not play around with that and uh, I think I'm I think I'm about to get close to the end of that there's uh, no point of you stopping there you can try uh, much more uh, variations on that and uh, let's get our segments back to something more but there as we increase it back to uh, something uh, we can we can get more details and uh, let's increase the size to 30 so uh, let's uh, see what you can do using uh, these kind of techniques uh, I hope it was not too boring and uh, Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.